Farmer bonuses, I think the government should make me a leader of the tax force. There will be a lot, I mean, a lot of dead bodies will be floating on River Pra. <laughs> You are welcome to As One. Of late, the president of Ghana has been receiving a lot of pressure from Boomsaw to water shortage to Nessie's demonstration, Galamse, and now Fix the Country hashtag has also stepped in. Wow! <laughs> but that is not why we are here today. In our last video, we promised you that we will be reacting to some of your comments under our videos of the Chinese illegal mining activities going on in Ghana. Because the Ghana Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, Honorable Abu Jinapur, said, let's all help and fight against these Chinese illegal mining activities. And the lives of your comment also matters. So let's jump into it and read some of your comments. Ready move? This one comes from Baba Al Hassan, he says, May Allah Almighty bless you, Mr. President. May you live long. Nana Safo, he says, Unless Nana start to jail them one by one for a very long time. Pa Solo Zion TV, he said, So sad to see all this happening to my motherland. Wake up, Ghana. Gloria Ade, she says, For a very long time, now that you have realized that they are destroying our land, incompetent leaders of Ghana. Oh, Shakur the king says, nice question, my man. The ambassadors got the country fucked up by issuing visas to just anyone knowing the activities that they are going to carry out by these foreign, foreigners into our countries. Mr. Africano says, why would the government wait till the Chinese actually destroyed our water bodies before taking action? Someone is not doing his work. Someone is definitely not doing his work. The AR says, citizens must watch too and must protect your inheritance. I hope we see these videos and understand what we must do. The president of Ghana, as far as I see and hear, is leading the region in exhorting towards an African economic progress. This is a beautiful video. I learned a lot and I'm definitely taking note of the local terms for these issues. Thank you very much, bro. B. Kozo Ofori says, We have heard all that before. With all the powers granted you by the Constitution, this is what you must stop at once. The licenses all must be revoked immediately. How many people can be buying water to drink in Ghana? Martin K. Chere says, Very well speech and he must act immediately as he said for all of us to notice that he is doing it according to his words because no one is above the law just like he said himself we are all looking forward to see what he he do to those corruptible people who are doing that under his government thank you for sharing the video really Esau says i trust you Dana, my mentor do something to protect our land good job my friend for your good presentation of the problems facing ghana today your three questions were genuinely right on point. I look forward to hear more from you again. Thank you. God bless our homeland, Ghana. Richmond Ade. Thank you very much, Mr. Richmond. I'm very grateful. Okay? Thank you. Bashira to Yakubu says, Rich Ghanaian can go to Chinese forest to do farming. Oh, Ghana. Oh, my sister. African Trends TV says, Great job. Keep it up. Let's link up. Okay, African Strength TV, if you want us to link up for a collab, you can DM me on Instagram at Sheriff the African and surely you will do something. Farmer Bona says, I think the government should make me a leader of the tax force. There will be a lot, I mean, a lot of dead bodies will be floating on River Pra. <laughs> Mr. Bona, Mr. Bowman, yeah, Mr. Bowman, take it easy, take it easy, okay? <laughs> Bobo Asante says, nice one, bro, Sheriff. Thank you very much, Mr. Bobo Asante. Mikel says, how can he stop Galamse when he's doing it at his hometown? Oh, oh, bro. Yeah, but Africa says, it's the same. Back in the days, you can drink the water straight in the forest. Various word. She says, 
One, okay, I think Vera was answering my questions. Yeah, the first question I asked was, who issues these Chinese visas? And Vera says, is the embassy of Ghana, true, of course. Then my question too was, who shows these Chinese the location where they are good for them to mine illegally? And she answered me that some of the government leaders who are in the position, why are Chinese not doing illegal mining in South Africa? Yeah, and she answered me that South Africa don't allow any stranger to take over their gold mining. It's only fools in our nation that are causing all these harms to Ghanaians. The president is trying his possible best to rule his nation, but the people who are in charge of it are not making things easy for the president to do what's right in the land. You've answered all my questions. Thank you very much. Are you a YouTuber? I'll check your channel. If you're a YouTuber, I will subscribe to your channel, okay? Thank you for answering my questions. Kujo Kin says, you are not a man enough to confront and arrest your party members and friends who are busy in these evil activities. We are waiting for you, Oga. Take actions quickly. Kusi Ziga says, thank you, Mr. Excellency Nana Ekufuado. You are the best of the best. T, damn, it's your country. Can you go to China and do that? Said Microphone says, I just subscribed. Oh, thank you, bro. Yvette Dupont says, for we need not to blame the Chinese. We ought to blame ourselves. The Chinese doesn't know anything about our forest. It's we the citizen who introduced them our wealth. Even during the election time, NDC gurus were going around and telling youth to go on their activities. How can we have portable water? Oh, case laces. The talk and the arrest, 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 arrest is too much. Prosecute and jail these Chinese and local perpetrators. Marianne in Kansas says, talk is cheap. I believe it when I see some serious progress towards eliminating the problems. This has been going on under his watch and he is now realizing the magnitude of the problem. After all the damages has already been done, I'm so disappointed in our leaders from the local level all the way to the top. With scientific experts predicting serious global water shortage in the future, we would then realize that clean and fresh water is a lot more valuable than gold. Wow! Mohammed Anani says that Mr. President, arrest all your ministers who are engaged in illegal galamse. Kem 2 GA says, so when I can't do anything about this, we are tired of empty speeches. Act! And now, I can imagine those half open eye people are taking over Africa and now no one is stopping them. Half eye <laughs> Oh my god! Chinese and politicians work hand in hand. That's Africa for you. Mamiya says, Nana, please call the Ghana embassy to China home. He is sabotaging the effort you are making to help the country. Nana, why don't you punish the offenders and these are the same people making bad comments about your governors? David Inzola says, no visa. Adra Koko says, there is no doom so why Ghanaians we don't want upgrading? Okay, Sister Adra, I think um, the energy minister said the Dumiso is not a nationwide problem now. He says it is some part of Ghana, so maybe some people are experiencing Dumiso, so allow them to complain. Thank you very much for your understanding. Jacqueline Edward says the Chinese need to be driven and sent back to China. Oh, China goose. Ata Labi says this my president is lying about the Galamse issue. He and Mahama are all the same. Amete says the Chinese must go. Ujafu Chicago says blah 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 and nothing being done. Vanga was a flop. Galam stop was a failure. What else do you have to convince the people with? It's out of your hand. Say, say it. Hafiz Halidu says, going through the comment section, people outside Ghana doesn't seem to know Nana Ado at all. They only know him for his good speeches and showmanship, but nothing about how he governs. Bashira to Yakubu says, good job. I used to ask the same questions. One day, we will have a Chinese president in Ghana. Oh! Mohammed Anani says, they should also arrest the kings who have cooperated with them. They need to get 20 years in prison for destroying our environment and stealing our gold and cocoa. Sylvia says, the Ghana government need to put an end to this. Mike J, why even mine in a forest reserve? Ghana is in trouble. Who even gave these Chinese visa to come to Ghana in the first place? They want to destroy Ghana. Sad. 
Brad Mike, don't be sad, okay? Everything's gonna be all right, I promise. But I can't promise you on behalf of a politician. Peter Manson said, hmm, I can't imagine this going on in Ghana. Whilst the Chinese are exporting cocoa, may the good Lord have mercy. Nana Freeman says, this action is better late than never. However, I'm still not totally convinced a few years ago, they said they were going to undertake a similar operations and yet we are here today. I am watching and praying and hoping the government is going to follow through what they are saying. Lisa David, I wish Nigeria will learn from this exactly. Ebenezer Ekhani says, our leaders are too reactive. They should be more proactive in the fight against illegal mining. Mr. Bright Kofi Akowia says, I am glad that our awakening is working on our poor leaders. Honestly, I do not support the burning of machines. Instead, they should set up a department for we, the young inventors in the country, to transform it into something useful for the country. And please, the ones they've burned, they should not leave the burning waste machine on our lands. It will affect us eventually. If they leave them there, we must learn from the past and learn well. We are tired of this foolish partisan. Fix the country. I love Ghana. The comments are many and we don't have time to read all. So this is all what we can read for today. We are sorry if yours wasn't read. I'm sure next time we are going to read it. My name is Sheriff Haruna. On Instagram, I am Sheriff the African. Please go and follow me. Uh, no, don't follow me, don't follow me. Thank you very much for watching and see you in our next video. Bye-bye for today.